President Donald Trump weighed in on Sunday, tweeting that the decision was not a good one. He wrote, only in these days of political correctness could such an overturn occur. The best horse did not win the Kentucky Derby, not even close. Runner-up Country House, a 65-to-1 long shot, was elevated to the winner's circle Saturday to the astonishment of Maximum Security's team, which insisted the horse did not cut off his competitors. Kentucky Horse Racing Commission Chief Steward Barbara Borden said the riders of Long Range Toddy and Country House lodged objections against Maximum Security for interference. We had a lengthy review of the race, Borden said. We interviewed affected riders. We determined that, maximum security, drifted out and impacted the progress of War of Will, in turn interfering with the 18 and 21. Those horses were all affected by the interference. Maximum security was dropped to 17th of 19 horses, placed behind all the horses it was determined that he bothered. Borden did not take questions and exited the news briefing to shouts from reporters about a lack of transparency. West said there wasn't much jockey Louis Says could do to control maximum security on a sloppy track. When you're leg weary, you're not going to run straight all the time, he said. Horses don't either. Said Says, I never put anybody in danger. Trainer Jason Service agreed with the jockey in the immediate aftermath and added, he straightened him up right away and I didn't think it affects the outcome of the race. The stewards disagreed, culminating in the first derby winner being disqualified because of interference. The last objection in the derby was filed in 2001 by jockey John Velasquez, who claimed interference by winner Menarchos and jockey Jorge Chavez. Stewards did not sustain the objection. This time, they did. Friday's Kentucky Oaks for Phillies began with a scary spill at the start by positive spirit that dumped rider Manny Franco. Neither the horse nor rider was injured, and both walked off the track. Serengeti Empress won the race in her first start since pulling up early in March at fairgrounds with external bleeding. The incidents come soon after the industry enacted a raft of medication and safety rules changes following the deaths of 23 horses over three months at California's Santa Anita. The son of New Year's Day and Lil Indy by Anna's Heed was coming off a three-length victory in the Grade 1 Florida Derby on March 30 that established him as the Derby's only unbeaten horse.